Psyche Truth, Life, Wisdom. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Mira Hoffman, and in this video, we're going to be talking about some easy stretches that you can do at your desk. These are great for um, low back pain or if you have neck and shoulder pain. And you just take a brief moment to um, just engage from your work. Maybe turn the sound down or um, so you're not getting those little notifications from your email inbox and put the phone on do not disturb so you can have a moment and just a little window to yourself to take some stretches and some time to tune into your body. So a lot of us, when we're sitting at a desk, it's natural. Everyone wants to kind of lean over. You're typing on the keyboard, you're driving the mouse, you're trying to get all those emails and work done. But you'll notice as I'm sitting here, all the muscles on my front side of the body are collapsed. And the muscles on the back side of my body, they're extended and also straining. So they're straining to try and hold the shoulders up and hold the back up. So as I come back into a more uh, neutral position in alignment, you can see that the spine is stacked a little bit more naturally and the body is actually having to do less work to hold itself up. Um, a couple recommendations if you're sitting at your computer, some small things that you can do to change to help um, your long-term posture. One is your keyboard. If you have like a little keyboard tray that can come towards you, so instead of holding your arms out here, which creates a lot of tension in these um, muscles, if you can bring it a little bit closer to you and a little bit lower down, that will really help. Um, one of our colleagues had mentioned possibly putting the keyboard tray in your lap, so you're welcome to try that and see if that's a good fit for you. The other thing that's really big is the position of your monitor. So many people's monitor sits directly on the desk or maybe just on top of their um, desktop computer with a couple inches of a lift. But if you look at your eyesight, what you want is when your back is in, when your back is in the most um, aligned position, you want your eyes to be level with the screen. So if your screen is too low or too high, you're gonna be straining your neck to try and compensate for looking um, hours and hours at a time at that computer screen. So an easy trick for that is you don't have to buy a fancy little computer monitor stand. Just grab a couple reams of paper from the copier area and stack them underneath your um, monitor so it becomes more level so you're looking straight out at the horizon. Um, another suggestion too is if you have a chair, either making sure it's a good height so you're getting a 90 degree angle at the knees, or another thing that you can try is one of those exercise balls. And one of the cool things about the exercise balls is you're constantly engaging your core and moving around and shifting so you're not sitting in the same position for eight hours a day. You're kind of moving, you can bounce and get a little workout while you're sitting at the desk. So there's a lot of options for you, just small changes that you can make that can make a big difference if you're experiencing low back pain or neck pain. So with that being said, we're actually going to go into a sequence of stretches that you can do to help um, relieve tension in those areas. So the first one that I like to do is just gently inhaling and taking a nice deep breath, rolling the shoulders all the way up to the ears and then exhaling, rolling them back and down. And you may feel a few, a few pops in the back. That's totally okay. Just means that area is starting to open and realign. Probably already starting to feel a lot of good relief. If you want to close your eyes, I know I do. <laughs> Go ahead. And just do that three or four times. Just get some nice open movement into the shoulders and the shoulder blades. And the next stretch that we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the arm across the body. This is really good for opening up the back of the shoulders. So if you have tension in between the shoulder blades or on the rhomboids, and this is a really good opener. I'm just gonna take a couple breaths here, allowing the body to relax. And lowering that arm, we're gonna switch to the other side. And you're just really pulling all the way across, really trying to keep, so you notice my torso is still facing straight and I'm just pulling the arm across the body here. Nice deep breath again. And we can lower the arm. And now we're gonna open a little bit of the side body. So reaching the right arm up, 
I'm gonna lift and then just reach over here. So really feeling all the intercostal muscles starting to open, the lats are starting to open a little bit. And coming back to the other side. I'm gonna get some pops in the spine. I know my back's already starting to open up. As you do this, try and keep both of your sits bones, so both of the bones in your um, buttocks area on the chair firmly. So if you're using an exercise ball, this may be a little challenging, so you might want to find a regular chair to sit in. And coming back out. And then another great shoulder opener is you can take the arm and using the opposite hand, just pulling it back and down. So really trying to reach the fingertips all the way down the back. This is really opening this back part of your arm into the shoulders and the shoulder girdle. Coming back to the other side, same thing. Opening the arms here. You may notice that you get a little bit of popping in the shoulders as you open it. It's totally fine. And if your shoulders are a little bit more open, or if you want to make this a little bit more of an advanced stretch, you can have one arm going up and then with the opposite arm come back and behind. Now, for a lot of you, you're not gonna be able to reach and interlock your fingers. So what you can do is just take a pen from your desk. So just any pen will do. If you have a ruler, that might work too. And with your top hand, hold the pen. And with the bottom hand, try and find it. There it is. And then you can just tug on it and kind of create that bottom and traction. So you'll notice it's kind of natural to want to either turn into the pose uh, let that front shoulder collapse. You really want to bring it up and back, and that's really helping open the shoulders. And then I'm going to switch arms again. So switching arms, right arm up, and you can see this arm, I don't have as much flexibility, so I can grab hold of the pin here. Nice huge shoulder opener here. This is really good if you have neck pain, shoulder tension. Just releasing that here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a spinal twist here. So I'm um, taking your right arm, come out to the left knee, and you're gonna start to twist. Now, if you wanna take this twist even further, take your back arm and reach it to the other side of your chair. So as you're doing this, try and keep the spine erect. Keep the spine straight up. Coming out, and we're gonna do the opposite. So left hand to right knee, and if you can, bring that right arm over the chair, reaching around, and then looking over that right shoulder to really extend that twist through the length of the back. And coming back to neutral. We're gonna do some hip openers. So if you're sitting at a desk, sometimes you may cross your legs, that's great. Um, with this, you're um, gonna be opening the IT band and the outer part of the hips. So I'm sitting here with my legs crossed, my ankle is kind of over my knee, and then I'm just gonna fold my body forward, letting it come to rest wherever feels good. So right now I'm feeling a stretch starting through my hips, all the way out the outside of my leg into the knee and you can just let your arms rest on your leg or if you want to dangle them down to create a little bit more forward movement just really listening to your body and stopping wherever feels good for you and 
slowly coming back up, we're gonna reverse legs. So left leg over the right. And then I'm gonna bend forward. I'm letting the head hang he heavy here. So let your head be really nice and heavy, the neck relaxed. You can use your breath to take some nice deep inhalations and exhalations. And slowly coming back up to neutral and putting the legs back on the ground. Another forward fold that you can do from your chair is sitting a little bit closer to the edge. You can interlace the fingers behind the back. If you can't interlace the fingers, let's grab our handy little pin again, and you can use that to grab wherever feels comfortable. So I'm gonna interlace my fingers, because I can, but again, if you can't, just use the pin. Interlace the fingers, and you notice already how open my chest just became. So before, you're kinda like this. This is a great opposite counter movement to typing on the keyboard. And we're just gonna bend forward, coming onto our knees, and if you want, depending on how flexible and what feels good to you, you can continue to move the arms up towards the ceiling and then back over the head. I'm taking a few deep breaths here. Letting the head and neck be heavy and relaxed. And relax the face and close the eyes if you want to. Inhaling and coming back up to neutral. And we can stretch up towards the ceiling, so interlacing the fingers and pushing up towards the sky, creating a nice long spine here. And slowly letting the arms drift back down. We're gonna do a couple neck stretches just to give that area a little bit of extra attention. So we opened up the shoulders really nice. We got some low back and hip openers here. Now we're gonna open up the top of the neck and the cervical spine. So the first one, and all of these are really basic, so um, just join us and enjoy the movement. We're gonna slowly lower the left ear down to the left side. And all these muscles on the right side of the neck are getting a nice long stretch here. If you want, you can close your eyes. And let the right shoulder be nice and heavy. And come back to neutral and do the other thing to the left side. And inhale back to center, and then we're going to fold the chest in. We're going to fold the chin into the chest. And inhaling back to center, and we'll exhale, bringing the chin up to the ceiling. So with this stretch, really stopping wherever it feels comfortable. You don't want to really crank the neck back too fast or too far. And for me, I like to go pretty far back. You can start to see my neck muscles are starting to get a nice stretch here. And if you want to finish out, we can do some gentle neck rolls. So really just going the full extended length. Opening up each side of the neck. And going clockwise right now. If you find a spot that feels good, you can stay there, hang out for a couple breaths. And then reversing the flow. Going counterclockwise now. 
And then again, just moving really gently. It's not about how fast we can do these. Oh, I did these stretches and I did three neck rolls and I'm all done. It's not what it's about. It's about tuning into your body and moving really slow with awareness and really creating that attunement where you're listening to your body and feeling it, even if you're at the office and working on some projects. Um, sometimes I notice when I sit at my desk, I'll realize that I've been sitting like this for I don't even know how long, and you can see how close my shoulders are to my ears. But when you realize, oh, if I can let go of that tension, there's really a lot more space there. So um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it. Let us know if you have any comments or feedback. If you're trying something out and maybe you got a little confused about how to do it, we'd love to help give you some more pointers and guide you through that movement. And maybe you have some prior issues or injuries that you're trying to work through. Maybe you need some modifications or anything special instructions. We're happy to provide those for you. You're watching the Psyche Truth YouTube channel, so subscribe to our channel. We have thousands of videos on all sorts of natural health care, massage, and yoga. We'd love to let you know about upcoming videos as they release and new information that you can find out about. And my name again is Mira Hoffman. You can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. Thank you.